Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we're going to be using some different types of opals. We're going to be using opal glitter and some opal foil to achieve this really fun looking opal tumbler. As always, I want to make sure to put everything that I use today down in the description box below so that way you guys can shop those items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Now today I am using a 24 ounce curved hog doll. Now these are actually new, so I kind of wanted to show you what these tumblers look like. But I went ahead and I, I prepped it and I primed it this beautiful magenta color. I'll show you guys the colors here in a second that I'll be using. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this tumbler since it's pretty new. This is what the lids look like and it's actually a screw top tumbler as well, which is really nice. I know a lot of people like that so it doesn't spill or the sometimes the lids kind of want to pop off if there's a lot of carbonation going on inside of it. But it's really nice. It screws right on and these are pretty neat and I think it's probably going to be one of my newest favorites. I really like the shape of these. But I just purchased this at the Stainless Depot Company. Now the three colors that I'm gonna be using today, on my base there, I did that magenta color. I'm also gonna be using this dreamy lavender and I will also be using a coral color. Now these are just three of my personal favorite colors. I really like how these look together, but you could obviously use any color combination you would like. Now to achieve this look, like I said, I just paint, went ahead and I painted my whole base, that magenta color. I just really feel like it's gonna help out here when we go to do this process next. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that dreamy lavender and I'm just gonna make short bursts of that color all over my tumbler. Now don't worry if it's not perfect, it's gonna be fine because we're gonna kind of blend everything together. So the first two colors I'm gonna use are just this dreamy lavender and I'm actually going to come back through with my magenta as well and I'm actually going to use the coral as like a highlighter after I'm done blending these two colors together. Now after I got those swatches of the dreamy lavender on I'm just going to come back through with my magenta and just do these swiping motions just to kind of further blend everything in. I actually find that if I start my paint off the tumbler and then swipe it up onto it it makes it for a much better and smoother transition of colors on one another. Now I'm coming back through with my dreamy lavender again just kind of putting those sporadically all over the place until I kind of get the look that I'm after here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect and any drips that might occur or anything like that are gonna be covered up once we apply our glitter anyways. So like I said, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just kind of get it how you would like it. But if you see, I keep stopping and I keep looking at the tumbler just to see, you know, where else do I need to fill in? And I'm just, swipe, like I said, I'm just swiping it through, just kind of filling in. I don't want to cover up too many of those colors with the other colors. So there we go. I think now I have it just the way I would like it. I'm going to let that dry for a second and then I'm going to come back through with that coral. And like I said, we're going to use it like a highlighter. Now with the coral, I'm going to apply it just a little bit differently. I'm going to do more of like a swirl motion rather than the splotches that we were doing earlier. So I'm going to start off my tumbler and just swipe right up onto it, kind of giving it just a little bit of a swirl. And you see it's very, it's a little bit more translucent because it's a lighter color. So you'll really be able to kind of get in there and just kind of just highlight places here and there. I did up on the handle. As you see, I have some runs over there. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. You won't even be able to see it once that glitter is applied. And there we go. Now my colors are all on my tumbler. Now I'm just going to let this dry and then we'll be ready to add our epoxy. All right, here it is nice and dry and ready for our epoxy. Now I am using a handled cup. So when I go to apply my epoxy, I just want to be extra careful not to get too much of it built up around the handle as I go. So this first layer, I'm just using the epoxy method to apply my glitter. So I'm just going to get this layered on really good. I'm not too worried about the handle here, but as we go, I'll show you guys what I do to kind of prevent any built up around the handle itself. Now the glitter that I'm going to be using today is called Moonstone and this is an opal like we were talking about earlier. This is the kind of look that we're going for so whatever kind of glitters you have on hand that you already have that are opals you definitely want to use it for this because what will happen is 
it will pick up any color that is underneath and still shine through with like rainbowy colors. So you see it has a bit of a rainbow to it, but it's still picking up all those colors that we spray painted our base. So in a way it will look like we put all kinds of different colored glitters on there, but we didn't. We're just coating it with this translucent opal that really picks up those colors that we did. Now, when I'm using the epoxy method to apply my glitter, I like to use my fast, my fast set epoxy so that way I can come through and apply my uh, layer of epoxy over my raw glitter. So I'm using my fast set, so I'm going to come back in about two, three hours and it'll be ready to apply a coat of epoxy over top of our raw glitter. And before I set it off to the side to cure, I just want to let you guys know that if there are any glitters that are poking up, you want to go ahead and flatten those down with your gloved hand or use some parchment paper to kind of flatten everything out. It will just really help out in this next process. All right, it's been two to three hours and we're ready to apply our epoxy over the raw glitter. Now, before I do my epoxy, I did spray it down really good with my two times ultra by Rust-Oleum. I just find it's a lot more helpful and I, it's just habit you know, because sometimes that epoxy has a hard time um, clinging to the glitter itself. And this is just a process that I like to do. So <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and apply my epoxy. Now, a good rule of thumb whenever you go to apply um, epoxy over your raw glitter is just think about the size of the tumbler that you're using. So this was a 24 ounce. So I'm going to use 30 ounces, 30 ounces no, 30 mls of epoxy to put over the raw glitter so that way I know it's going to be nice and covered. Now up here around the handle, I just try to really make sure that I smooth it out the best that I can. And once I put it onto my turner, I will actually come through about 15 minutes after I have it on my turner and I'll just make sure that there's no buildup occurring around it. And if there is buildup starting to occur around the handle itself. I'll take a gloved finger and I'll actually pull away any epoxy that's being built up around the handle. And again, that's really going to help out in the end so that we don't have those big gloopy areas up around the handle. So I'm going to let that cure and we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, here it is the next day, all ready to go. It does need some sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my rim first, and then I'm gonna take my sanding block and just kind of go over any little areas that might be poking up. That really wasn't too bad. And especially when you sand up around the handle, you just wanna be very careful. You don't wanna accidentally rub down to the steel itself. And if you do accidentally do that, it's okay to come through with a little bit of paint, a little bit of glitter. Nobody's gonna know if you accidentally do that. So just be very careful. Make sure it's nice and smooth and now we're, we're ready to put on some fun decals. So before I put on my decals, I'm going to go ahead and apply some foils next. And to achieve that, we're going to be using our tacket over and over again so that way our foils have something to stick to. If you guys don't know, tacket over and over again, once it's dried, it has a tacky surface and it's great for adding extra glitter or foils, anything like that. So here I am just going to very abstractly make some lines right around my tumbler. I And every single one of these is going to be an anchor where I put my decals as well. So it's going to go right over top of the foils that we're going to be doing. And you guys see I am using a lot just so that way I know my foils have a lot of space to be able to stick down to and you'll be able to see them really well. I'm just going to come through and kind of smooth that out here and there. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to um, dry it with my blow dryer and then we're ready to start adding our foils. But if you just leave the tumbler as it is, or if you're going to continue on with me and add these foils, I know you guys got this. This is such an easy, easy tumbler to make. So if you guys remember last year, I made a foil tumbler and I still have that foil. I'm just going to be <laughs> kind of reusing some of the foil I already had on hand. But some of this other foil I'm going to be showing you, I did purchase recently. I just really wanted to try it out. So here is just like a very pretty gold. And as you see, one side is shiny and one side is that gray color. And I'll show you guys how to use it here in a second. Now this little pack here, I just got off right, right off of Amazon, just little nail foils and they're all opals and they all actually do have have a different shine to one another and I'll, I'll, the one that I pick out I'll show you what, what I what I but see it has like a rainbowy color to it but it was really hard to decide some of them had like a holographic look most of them had that rainbow look to it so I went ahead and I just picked out the one with the most rainbow look to it this is what it looks like and to be honest it, it was kind of hard to figure out which side was what as well <laughs> 
but I, I figured out that one side is a bit smoother than the other. The rougher side obviously is going to go down onto your tumbler and to remove the decal off the back. So our glue is nice and dry. I, I know you can't see it, but I see it. I can see it on my side, okay? <laughs> so now I'm just going to take that gray side and press it right down onto my tacket over and over again. I'm going to smooth that down really well and peel it back. And there we go. We have our first little bit of foil. Now I'm going to do the same. I didn't put it all over the area because I want half of it to kind of be the opal and half of it to be the gold. But once I figured out which side was why, like I said, <laughs> it was a little hard. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the opal, just putting it right up again, right up against my gold there. And there we go. It leaves a very pretty, just real shimmery rainbow effect right next to that gold. I really love how this looks. So now I'm just going to repeat that process all over those areas that we did our glue, doing a little bit of the gold, a little bit of the opal. But I really enjoy using foils. They really add so much character and dimension to your tumblers and just give it just a little bit of extra. But here it is all done up. You can see just a little bit of shimmer from those opals in there, a little bit of that gold, and I think that's a great anchor for what we're about to do next. Now for my decals, I like to make my main decal about three and a half in the width. This is kind of a smaller decal, so I thought it would fit nice. It's, it's not too tall. So that's about the width that I did my decal. And my cheetah print um, there, which I'm going to be turning into leopard print, you know, it's cheetah like that, leopard with the middle. Anyways, <laughs> I'll make sure to put down the description box below where I got these. But they're all grouped together, and I made that about 3.655 by 5.388. And it made just the perfect size little little prints for me to be able to put onto my tumbler. Now, if you want to do an offset on your mama portion there or whatever quote you're using, you just simply highlight your your quote that you'd like to have an offset, go up to your offset, apply it. I, I typically use 0 0.56. It's pretty... A pretty good one it pretty goes it pretty much goes very well with any type of decal you can apply that and then you can have yourself an offset with it as well but i'm not doing that today i'm just going to do a plain coral vinyl on my tumbler just i just wanted it kind of very minimal and and just kind of let the the background speak for itself but i'm gonna go ahead and get those cut really quick and then i'm going to start getting those applied now when I did, if you guys remember when I did my um, foils, I wanted to make sure that my decal was going to be able to kind of go over the one on the top. So I, I definitely tried to make sure that this portion here was able to go over some of those foils that we did at the very top, just, just so that way it kind of blended together. Now all I'm going to do is take these, what are cheetah prints right now, and I'm going to just fill in just very randomly, very... You don't want too many. I, I didn't want I didn't want too many. You can add as many or as much as you'd like, but I didn't want too many. And I'm just gonna go right in between where I did the gold and opal foil. So I'm just gonna continue to do this again, just very randomly, right in between the gold and opal foil, completely around my tumbler. And then we're ready to kind of add just a little bit more accents to it. So my spots are all applied and I'm just going to take a little brush and I'm going to take my tacket over and over again and I'm just going to place little dots of that right in the center of my leopard spots and then after that is dried we're going to come through and add just a little bit a little hint of a magenta nail foil. All right, my dots are completely dry, and here's that foil that I'll be using. It's kind of like a holographic foil. And again, we're gonna do the same thing where we take it and just press it right down onto the glue, and it's going to release that color right onto the area that was tacky. And I'm just going to completely do that all over the spots on the tumbler. So I thought about doing this like in a rainbow of colors because uh, the, the kit that I have for this, it came in all kinds of colors, but I decided just to keep it simple and just go with the color scheme that I already had going. So that's why I just stuck with the magenta. Now, once your little leopard spots are all filled in, we'll be ready to apply a coat of epoxy over top of our tumbler. Now, once I get onto my turner, I'm gonna show you guys one more step that I, I decided to do. So here it is out on my turner, like I said, with a coat of epoxy over top. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up really good with my torch while I have it here. And then I'm gonna come through and I'm just gonna take some extra glitter and just sprinkle that all into my leopard spots that I made here as well. This is called Suncatcher Silver. It's a very pretty silver. It's just, I just feel like, I know it's not an opal, but <laughs> I just feel like it really accented everything. Now, all I'm gonna do is just go right in between where I did my leopard spots again and just kind of sprinkle that right in there. I also took and I did 
real like heavy dashes of it in between just here and there very sporadically just kind of tying everything together now once this is cured i'm going to go ahead and give it one more coat of epoxy and she is good to go whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.